This episode is brought to you by Astropad Studio. Turn your iPad and Apple Pencil into a screen-based graphics tablet for your Mac. Visit astropad.com and start your 30-day free trial of Astropad Studio today. So in today's episode, I'm going to follow up with my video on how to create large format illustrations in Photoshop. And the question that came up, of course, is can you do this in Procreate also? I'm gonna look at just how big you can go in terms of file size in Procreate. Now, before I get into that, I just wanna say I just released my latest class on Skillshare. It's called The Six Stages of Illustration, Leading Clients Through Your Art. If you are a new illustrator or you're wondering how illustration works, you, you have never done it, but you're wondering about what the illustration process looks like, this class is for you. It shows my process of illustrating for clients, commercial illustration from start to finish, starting with the brief, going through the creative parts all the way up to the end when you invoice a client. This is not just for beginners, it's also for any illustrator who just wants to have a look at a fellow illustrator's process and get a sense of uh, what it could look like. So that's up. You can go to tomfrozecom slash teaching. You'll find a link to that class there. And when you use my links, if you're not already on Skillshare, you'll get 30 days free membership on Skillshare just by using that link. So head over to there. Hopefully you'll enjoy the class. So I am going to just cut to the chase here and uh, show you a comparison between what you'll get on Photoshop and what you'll get in Procreate in terms of Mac's file size. So just for scale, I have a MacBook screen, a 15 inch MacBook screen, then a human, and then we have Procreate. This is the maximum size you can use or create using Procreate in terms of a large format illustration. And then in Photoshop, this is the largest you can do in a standard PSD file on on Photoshop on a computer. And so let me just explain what's going on here. The question here is what is the largest file you can work on in Procreate? I know a lot of people use Procreate and maybe you dream of making something large enough to create as a large format poster or something that even becomes a mural on a wall. So can you do that in Procreate? So just a quick Google search will tell you what the size limit of Procreate is. And the tricky part is that it depends on your iPad. If you're on one of the latest iPad Pros with the latest chips and all that, you're gonna get a bigger possible file versus if you're on an older iPad. My iPad is a fourth generation 12.9 inch Mac, uh, iPad Pro. And so some of the numbers I'm giving you are very specific to mine, but I think a lot of people will probably have a slightly older model of iPad. So I'm hoping that this is still quite relevant to a lot of the viewers. So just heading over to Procreate's website, they actually give a list of the maximum file sizes right here. It's 8,192 pixels squared. And they say that depending on, on a few tech specs and stuff like that, you're gonna get between eight and 11 layers. So that's really the largest size we're working out with right now as of spring 2022. So what does this mean? What does this pixel number mean in terms of physical dimensions? What is the physical dimensions that you can work with using Procreate? I'm gonna just open up Photoshop here because this is just a handy way of actually um, calculating things like this. So I'm just gonna create a new file in those Procreate dimensions, which is 8,192 pixels uh, by the same in the other direction. Doesn't matter what resolution it is, pixels are pixels. The resolution just determines what the final output size would be coming from a printer. So I've created this image in Photoshop. That's the maximum dimensions that you can get on Procreate. Now, if you just go to image and go to image size in the menu here, this gives you this little dialog box. And this is what I use to translate between sort of smaller on-screen dimensions to what, what the size of a larger format file would be. Now, important thing is when you're doing this, make sure that resample is unchecked. And then what this does is make sure that no matter what you enter in to these numbers, 
you always end up with the dimensions in pixels at the top. If I don't have resample unchecked, if I have resample checked and I keep changing this number, that's going to affect the pixel dimensions. And I don't want that. I always want to work with the exact same pixel dimensions, no matter the resolution or the height and width. So I have resample deselected and I'm gonna put this in inches because otherwise I feel very lost. And here we have at, let's say at 600 DPI, at a really nice high resolution, we are working with 13.6 uh, inches squared. That's how big, if, we're, if we need to work at this ultra high resolution, which you never do, you never need 600 DPI for almost any print application. You only get 13.6 inches at Procreate's maximum dimensions. But if we shrink that down to uh, 300 DPI, which is a standard print dimension, then you get closer to 27 inches by 27 inches. Now that's, that's nice and big. That's 70 centimeters, give or take. So uh, not quite a meter, but it's big. It's, a, it's like a big sheet. It's, nice, it's a nice poster size that you can get. So I mentioned in my last video that in order to print larger format, you don't need as high of a resolution. You can go down as low as 50 or even 25 DPI because you're not looking very close at the page. So what I do is I, I usually work in 50 DPI real world dimensions for larger format. So in, if I drop my dimensions now or my resolution now down to 50 DPI, we get 163 inches squared, which in feet that ends up being around 13.6 feet by 13.65 feet or approximately four by four meters. So at 50 DPI, the largest mural I could make in Procreate is about 13 and a half by 13 and a half feet or four by four meters big. Now, if I had something that wasn't gonna be seen close up at all, something maybe like hoarding that you uh, drive by and you only in your car, you see it, or maybe it's on a billboard, you know, something that's far enough away that you're never staying in front of it, you could go as low as 25 DPI. And now you're up to 327 inches. And that means you're up closer to 27 feet squared. So that's, that's pretty big, 27 by 27 feet. And that ends up being closer to the, just over eight by eight meters. So you can do an eight by eight wall in, a, in an office, for instance. If you're doing an office mural, you can do an eight by eight meter mural in Procreate. Now, the catch with Procreate is, of course, the larger the, f the dimensions that you get, the fewer layers you get. So what I did, and I'm just gonna hop onto my iPad here. I'm gonna create a new canvas. I'm gonna go to new uh, custom canvas size. And what I wanna do is see how big I can get, first of all, in terms of pixels. And so I followed the directions from Procreate's website where they talk about the maximum file size, which we, we looked at already. And I entered that number, 8,192 pixels in both width and height. And um, again, DPI doesn't matter. It could be 1200 DPI. It really doesn't matter. DPI uh, is only a matter of concern when you're outputting the file. So as you can see, I could have, you know, 6,000 DPI if I wanted. That doesn't change anything in Procreate. So, but let's just set it back to a more reasonable output. We're talking about 50 DPI for a typical mural. So let's just do that. You can see that I get a maximum of just six layers. If I drop this maybe down a little bit, I start getting uh, significantly more layers. If I went just down to 5,000 by 5,000 pixels, I now get 22 layers. But at our maximum size, and that's really what we're, what we're talking about today, I get only six layers. And I'm actually surprised I even got six. If you have an older iPad, you're not even going to be able to get this big, possibly even in terms of the width and height. Not only will you not get as many layers, you won't even, maybe you'll only get one layer. You'll also get less width and height. So Procreate turns out to be pretty limited in terms of its ability to do these large format illustrations. So I just wanted to compare it to some specs in 
Photoshop, how does Procreate compare to Photoshop in ter terms of the largest file that you can make in terms of the maximum pixel dimensions? According to Adobe, the largest or the limit for a Photoshop file is 30,000 by 30,000 pixels up to a maximum file size of two gigabytes. And you can go even larger than this if you're using a large document format. Some, they do have a format called PSB, which actually allows you to exceed what a standard Photoshop file can do. But let's just see, what does that mean? What does it mean that a 30,000 pixels? This is very abstract. Let's do this again. We'll open up Photoshop. I'm going to put in 30,000. And you can compare that, that's over three times the limit of Procreate. So that's already pretty crazy. 30,000 by 30,000 pixels. And I'm just gonna create a file here. Let's open our image size little dialog box. Make sure that resample is unchecked. And now let's see uh, in inches what a 600 DPI file will give you. So 30,000 pixels times 30,000 pixels will give you a 50 inch file at a resolution of 600 DPI. If you want to go uh, lower, so just print standard print resolution, you cut the resolution in half and, you, and that means you double the width and the height, you get 100 inches at 300 DPI. Now what happens if we go down to our mural resolution, the only resolution we need if we're doing larger format, we go down to 50, we get 600 inches. And what is that in um, feet? 600 by, by 12, that's a 50 foot by 50 foot mural, that's huge. For those working in centimeters in metric, that's 1,524 centimeters or 15 by 15 meters. So you can make a file 15 by 15 meters in Photoshop. That's its maximum size. And you can still add as many layers as you want to that baby. The only thing that's going to be your limit is a hardware limit. It's going to be how much RAM you have in your computer. Now, of course, if you're working at this size, it's also going to be probably very slow as you get more layers and in, in just laying down your artwork. So there are additional strategies you need in order to build a, a, a mural that big in Photoshop, but that's for a different video. So I've said at 50 DPI, which is a typical mural resolution that I would use in Photoshop, something that you can now, as you can see, use in Procreate, if you have something further off, you can even drop that even more. You can drop the resolution down to 25 DPI. So if we're working in Photoshop with their 30,000 pixel limit, what does that look like? How big are we looking at? Just gonna set that back to inches. We're looking at 1200 inches by 1200 inches at 25 DPI. 1200 inches, of course, is 100 feet. 100 feet is 30 meters, give or take. So the largest size file for large format you can make in Photoshop, according to their limit, is 100 by 100 feet or 30 by 30 meters. So going back to my funny little comparison diagram where we compare the size of a Procreate maximum dimension to the maximum dimensions of a Photoshop file, we have uh, 13 by 13 feet in Procreate and 50 by 50 feet in Photoshop, which translates to uh, four by four meters and 15 by 15 meters respectively. Now that's at 50 DPI. But now let's look at what we can get if we're using 25 DPI. Yeah, you have the MacBook here, you have this human, and now compared to that human, you get the largest possible file size that you can get is eight by eight meters or 26 by 26 feet. And that is roughly the size of a ping pong table. That's not bad, it's still a large format, but how big can you go in Photoshop at 25 DPI? We're looking at 100 by 100 feet or 30 by 30 meters, which is the size of two tennis courts side by side. So procreate one ping pong table, Photoshop two side by side tennis courts. And um, for a more international comparison, 
If you're just comparing like the width or the height of it, it's the same height as Christ the Redeemer, that statue in uh, Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. So come on, if you really wanna make really, really, really big files in a raster-based program, if you're choosing between Photoshop and Procreate, there's just no contest. Photoshop just has the power that you need to go that big. I know that Procreate's just gonna keep getting bigger and bigger, but as of spring 2022, you're still gonna do much better just in terms of the size you can go and in terms of the number of layers that you can have in your file. If you're working with Photoshop on a computer, on a Mac, on a desktop. Anyway, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it helpful. If so, please drop me a note in the comment or give it a big like. Always appreciated. I'll see you in the next one. De Janeiro. De Janeiro. De, de, de Janeiro.